With this project, we are giving an opportunity to our marketeers to have a moment of self-discovery. Hey, daddy -o. I just got my results for the DNA. Do you want to hear about it? Mom, what did you do? <laughs> this unstereotype experiment is not only about removing stereotypes from our advertising. I think it's just groundbreaking for this industry. It's an experiment that is going to unleash creativity. We've learned to use stereotypes in order to simplify our world. You stereotype about someone's gender, ethnicity, age. Everyone does it. It's very useful. But by using a stereotype about you, I'm essentially ignoring who you are as a human being. Marketers and organizations do have a significant responsibility to change the negative stereotypes. Because they're the ones who help shape cultural perceptions. Hi, I'm Margarida. I'm Portuguese and I'm 26 years old. Hi, my name is Luis Hernandez. I'm from Mexico originally. Hi, I'm Christy Blaine, a group creative director at Mullen Lowe. Hi, I'm Johnny Watts. <laughs> Today, we're going to do a really exciting experiment. I'm going to find out my DNA history, my ancestry. This is an exciting time. We'll figure out what we, uh, what we don't know. Through the DNA reveal, through the self-awareness that they will be getting, and through the scientific tools that we will be giving them in terms of how to unstereotype, we aim to prove statistically that a change in their stereotypical thinking and their creativity has actually occurred. Most people are very resistant to the idea that they stereotype. So we thought that it would be interesting to get them to start seeing the world differently, starting with themselves. The unexpected part was 8% Basque, which I think is kind of cool. I'm 8% Middle East, North Africa, which is really exciting. I am 3% Ashkenazi. I found out that I'm not 100% American. <laughs> I mean, no one in my family has ever talked about any kind of Jewish heritage. I'm, I love that. Hey, Daddy-o. Hey, what's happening, my son? Hello, did you see my DNA results? It's my younger brother. We are 19% Asian. North, <laughs> Northeast Asia. <laughs> Clearly something is going on with my family. I call my parents. Who am I? Mom, what did you do? <laughs> it shows that we're much more alike than we think we are. We hope that if you've seen yourself differently, you'll be more willing to see other people differently. We've given them exercises that illustrate how their brains work, how they view the world, and how those views of the world can sometimes be inaccurate. Hipsters look like this. They dress like this. They dress like a hipster. <laughs> and how stereotypical thinking can restrict their creativity. OK, so one more minute, everyone. My first view on stereotyping was like putting tags on people. But no, stereotyping is about a structure of thinking. Stereotyping is not about casting. It's not just about the look of what you create, it's really about the whole process of creation. It was very, very eye-opening. The decisions that you make don't only affect your clients, they affect humanity, and that's a, you know, a great responsibility. This experience is definitely a game-changer. There are certain things that you need to really understand about yourself and about the process to make sure that you're not veering back into stereotypes and to deliver really exciting creative. We've got lots of other clients, and very few of them are actively going out and trying to change this the way that Unilever are, and it's, it's a privilege to be along for the journey with them. If we can all come to work every day as human first and marketeers second, it's an amazing opportunity not only to do the right thing, but also to generate much better, bigger, and more creative ideas for our business.